Alright, so we're in River Sound Residences today and Prof Tulin Bros is bringing you to a 4 bedroom unit in District 19. Now, if you happen to be looking for a 4 bedder, you want the extra bedroom. And I think 4 bedders are getting extremely popular nowadays, especially after the circuit breaker. So, let's follow us. Alright, so if you have seen some of our home tours before, you would have known that we usually love to show you the location first, a little bit about the facts of the project before we show you the rest of this beautiful layout. Now, if you are the first time looking at our YouTube channel and having seen this video, do remember to click on the subscribe button and uh, like or share it so it really helps with the algorithm to be able to discover more homes on our channel. So, let's talk a little bit about this location first. We are at District 19. This is River Sound Residences. Now, this project was TOP in the year 2015. There is a total of 590 units right here. This project is located at a part of Sengkang that is very near to a KPE exit point. Over at this entire enclave, there are a total of four projects right here. Now, the very first one was the River Veil. That was an EC and the first to be launched on this entire long stretch of land. And the second one being Park Green, followed by Osville Residences and then Riverside Residences was the latest one to be completed. But the interesting thing is that somehow the developers have all been in sync and they have all made the pools to be in line. So actually you have very good airflow from the middle of all the project site plan. There's very good airflow coming through the pool area and the facility zone all the way towards River Sound Residences which is at the tail point of this land plot. Now being at this tail point, you also enjoy this fantastic fantastic view overlooking towards the river over here. Across this road, after you push your bike across the traffic light, you can then ride with a family all the way towards Pongo Waterway, Lower Hallows. This is an entire stretch of park connector that brings you through this entire greenery along the river all the way to the rest of Pongo and Sengkang itself. So if you want to live in a place that is not too crowded like the town center area and you want to have accessibility to greenery, but of course, apart from the location itself, it's also because of the overall price quantum itself for a four bedroom unit in D19. So let's bring along the price map and then so that you can have a good comparative. Very near the Bonco MRT station is the Esperina Residences. So over there, Esperina Residences for four beta unit, they're really asking for about $1.7 million. And then you have Jewel at Bonco, which is asking at about $1.8 over $1 million. Following which you have the Quartz, which is slightly older. TOP in year 2009. Three bidders right there is already about 1.3 to 1.4 million. And as you move across to this belt, the four condos right here that we're talking about, there's no four bidders in the river veil. Most of the units there are populated by three bidders. And Park Green four bidders is about 1.3 odd million. Osville Residences is about 1.2 odd million. The river veil, Park Green and Osville Residences, they are all launched as executive condominiums. However, Riverside Residences was launched as a pure condominium status and Riverside Residences for this particular unit right here is asking at 1.38 million, which brings us to about a thousand odd dollars per square foot based on the 1259 square feet. Okay, so in terms of the 590 units, there are a total of 1, 2, 3 and 4 beders and of course some of the penthouses. What's interesting is that the entire project is being elevated upwards. So there are no units on the pure ground floor level. The moment you drive in, you will notice that the entire facility zone is actually located towards the second and the third floor. There's basement parking involved, 592 units plus 6 handicapped lots. So parking is definitely a breeze with visitor lots as well. In terms of the unit segregation, the three bidders here form about 200 odd units. The four bidders also form about 200 odd units over here out of the 590 units. If you have seen some of our other videos, if you want the best views, usually developers when they build the project from scratch, they usually will position the largest units to have one of the best frontage in terms of view, in terms of what you see at your balcony plus your living room area in terms of layout. So this is a 4 beta plus utility, 1259 square feet. It's done in the fashion that you have a yard area, utility space, you have a yard, WC, toilet as well. And the best thing is that this view gives you both the pool view right here. So you're looking at an infinity pool, 50 meters lap pool. If we were to have a look at the larger 4 beta units with utility, there are a couple of stacks on the site plan itself. This particular stack itself is not too close to the main road, so I don't get too much of a road noise. And of course, for the fact that all 4 bedrooms faces towards this direction, towards north itself, and they all have 
the same view as the living room area. A lot of people also love rural style residences because of the balcony size. This balcony extends towards two of your common rooms and of course this is sizable enough with a sheltered roofing for you to put in your alfresco dining set right here. Owners have also done up the blinds. This is situated at block 9A. So block 9A and block 1 are the only two blocks with the sky terrace on level 13. And later we'll bring out to level 13 and have a look at the sky terrace. So let's head in and have a look at the layout. This is one of the corner stack. So there's no direct neighbors on my left and right side. The home shelter is designed as a common stairway shaft outside for all the residents on each level to enjoy. You have this foyer zone and it's wide enough for you to construct a four panel shoe carpentry space here. So just like what our owners have done, this is the first owner condition it has never been tenanted. They have lived here since TOP bought directly from a developer. I think the condition is really fantastic because have a look at the grout lines. Oh my goodness, the grout lines are really clean and they have maintained it so well. Homogeneous tiles have been kept beautifully since day one. This is a 100 by 100 cm homogeneous tiles. Uh, in the previous video, I, I mentioned only about 100 by 100 meters and that caused a big hoo-ha. So <laughs> this is 100 by 100 cm for the homogeneous tiles. You have a very good size living plus dining. But as mentioned, the moment that you have a very proper sized balcony, this space can be transferred to the balcony space for alfresco so you can have a bigger living room area. But you can have dual dining space as well. We love the fact that the four bathers get this dry kitchen. So the dry kitchen allows you to have a fridge right outside here. So that's a very easy space for you to serve your gas, drinks, and it's still very proper for you to bring into your countertop to prepare your food, to cook, and to prep and stuff like that. There's a bottom storage space. There's also a bottom storage pool out over here. And then there's a top plus another top storage right here for our microwave oven. So this space I think is great because that forms like a very nice cohesive zone towards the dining and the living space. And of course, sitting at the dry kitchen, you can still get to enjoy this beautiful view of the park connector. So let's have a look at the wet kitchen. The wet kitchen is a rectangular space and um, Electrolux oven, hood and hop is all well maintained. Cabinet 3, I think condition is very good since day one. And there's a hidden dish rack here. And then this is the yard space that we are talking about. So you have a proper yard space for your washer, come dryer, WC toilet with a utility space. And over here, this overlooks towards your L-shaped aircon latch and that allows you to construct all the pulley systems that we have always seen in some other units so you can pull down and push out the laundry racks right here alternatively of course people love to do some natural coats drying in their balcony space especially if you have a larger balcony space like this I think there's multiple ways on how you want to position your sofa and TV console position. If you want to sit here to enjoy the view of the river, then you can actually switch the TV console to the other side of the wall. Put your sofa right here so you get, get to see the TV, you get to see the view as well. If you want to live in the original location as recommended by developers, you can do so also. The living room, there's two Mitsubishi aircon inverter units and the owners has done up the four ceiling plus down lights so you can do interchangeable lights as well. Importantly is that the condition is so great that you have a very moving unit right here and you really have to come for a physical viewing to have a look at the actual place. Alright, so with that, let's talk about the facilities first. I'm going to bring you to level 2 to have a look at some of the common facilities downstairs plus level 13 to enjoy the view at the Sky Terrace. So, let's go. They have things like wellness of sound features and there is where the entrance water feature at the drop-off point is located. Landscape area, water lagoon, wedding pool and eco corridor which is like a little bit of a garden for you to walk around. You also have the wellness of flavour area which is where the gourmet dining pavilion is located plus the barbecue area and the lounge. And of course this project comes with a dedicated gymnasium plus 50 meters infinity pool, children's playground and the clubhouse comes with changing room and sauna facilities. Not forgetting, there's still a butterfly garden plus two sky terrace for residents at block 1 and block 9A to enjoy. The view in the evening and in the mornings, a full fledged tennis court for you to enjoy over the weekends. 
And of course, last but not least, we have four primary schools here that are within one kilometer range from the River Sound Residences project. So we have North Spring Primary School, you have North Vista Primary School, Ongo Primary, and of course, CHIJ, a Lady of the Nativity. We have four proper bedrooms here, and all of them are facing towards the north direction. I'm going to show you the first one. This is the smallest room. It's currently now used as a piano room and a music room with a little bit of small little... This is definitely not a ukulele. You can use this as a guest room. If you want to fit a queen bed, you can. It will be a little bit tight. But this fourth room is really good for a super single. There's a two-panel wardrobe here. It faces towards the view, overlooks towards the balcony. This home itself has six AC units, four in the bedrooms, two in the This is George, listings manager. Have a look at him. And uh, we are in the second bedroom. This room is customized with an L-shaped study table area with lots of pull-out drawers right here. We love the fact that there's like an oak tree kind of finishing and of course the top cabinetry has been done. You have this storage bed right here. There is a two large panel wardrobe right here. And of course the blinds has already been done. These are rainbow blinds so you can actually adjust it accordingly to have a little bit of opaque effect and see-through effect or you want a fully covered version. This will be left behind for the next homeowner. This room also have a similar fashion. It's an identical layout with the same L-shaped panel being fixed already. So this table will stay. So very good for your children as their study area. This is all very flexible. I think a lot of people out in the market really looking for four bedroom units because the fourth bedroom is so useful for you to be used as your home office. Even now they're still working from home, they usually work at the dining table area and the whole living room just becomes so cluttered because you're working from home. So that fourth room is great. Master gives you the full height panel. Similarly, the rainbow blinds has been done and these are in great shape. This looks towards north, totally no afternoon sun. This is like a queen bed, you can go up to the king size version if you want to. And the TV console is already built in and you have like a four panel kind of wardrobe system right here with a lot of pull out drawers at the bottom already installed for you. And of course your own suite, it's good size, ventilation windows, house on the floor and the wall is all very well maintained as well. The maintenance fee is also something that I want to mention. It's only $330 per month for 4 beta. So I think it's really reasonable because nowadays for 4 beta, at least it's already at about $400 odd. So for 590 units, they can still manage to keep the MCST fees per month at a very reasonable rate for the 4 beta owners being one of the largest one to five nine square feet, four bit plus utility kind of layout. A lot of good things I actually check, and this is really a quantum kind of purchase. You're really buying something that is not too old. It's just five years from TOP, nine years from the land lease age, and you're buying something that has full facilities, but at the same time, 1.3 odd million dollars for four beds, three baths, and utility room. So I think if you want to have a look at River Sound Residences, you're a D19 lover, do give us a call. The listings manager link right down below uh, brings you to George Ping. Christina Tan, who do have a look, do an appointment with us. So once again, I'm Alvin Lim, Property Brothers, always happy to show the place. Okay, so today we are in River Sales Residences.